Hello friends this is one more Webslist in web development video tutorial. From this tutorial we have start discussing one more topic for web development like how to make simple CRUD system by using Ajax with PHP. For PHP CRUD operation we will principle of object oriented programming concept. We will use Ajax jQuery method with PHP object oriented programming. So we can insert or add, update or edit, delete or remove and select or fetch records from MySQL database by using PHP object object oriented programming concept with Ajax. We will discussing how can we reuse same code for different CRUD operation with Ajax. In this system we will also upload image by using Ajax and we also see how can we change the uploaded image by using Ajax with PHP programming. This is first part of this web development tutorial on making of CRUD operation system by using PHP object oriented programming concept with Ajax. In this part we will select or fetch records from MySQL database table and displaying that data on web page with update and delete button link in table format. This is our CRUD database and in this database we have one table with name like users with table column like id, first name, last name and image. In this table we have already inserted some data into this table. We will fetch this data from this table. This is our CRUD class and this class is created by writing class statement with class name CRUD. This way we have create simple CRUD class in PHP. Under this class first we have write public dollar connect variable. In this variable we will store database connection string. Then after we have write private dollar host variable is equal to locale lost. In this variable we have store host name. After this we have write private dollar username variable is equal to root. Private dollar password variable is equal to blank value and private dollar database name variable is equal to grud. This all variable we will use for making database connection. After this under this class we have create one function for making database connection, so we have write public function database connect function. Under this function we will make database connect. Under this function we have write dollar with connect variable is equal to mistly connect function with for argument like host set to dollar this host variable, username set to dollar this username variable, password argument set to dollar this username variable and database argument set to dollar this database variable. This function will make database connection and store connection string into this dollar this connect variable. Now we have write function construct magic function. This magic function has been called when new object of this class has created then this function has been called. So when we have create new object of this class has been create then this function has been called. Under this function we have write dollar this database connect function. Under this function we have call database connect function. So when we have make new object of this class has been created then database connect function has been called and it will make database connection. Then after have create one new function, so we have write public function with execute query function name with one argument like dollar $query argument. This function is used for execute query and send query result. Under this function we have write return statement with miscly query function with two argument, in first argument like database connect string so we have write dollar this connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. Value of this variable get from this function argument. Now we have go to index.php page. On this page we have used JavaScript library jQuery and Bootstrap style sheet framework functionality used on this page. Now we want to use all method of CRUD class on this page, so we have write include statement with crud.php class file link. This way we can include all method of CRUD class on this page. Then after we have want to make object of this CRUD class. So we have write dollar object variable is equal to new crud class. 
Here we have create object of this CRUD class on after making object we have automatically make database connection. After this on this page first we have create mine division tag with attribute it is equal to user table. Under this division tag we will load user data in table format with update and delete button link. Now we have go to CRUD class and on this class we have create one more function for fetching user data in table format. So we have write public function get data in table with one argument like dollar $query variable. Under this function we have write one dollar $output variable is equal to blank value. Under this variable we will store user data in table format. Then after we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar this with execute query function with dollar query argument. This function will execute query and store query execution result in dollar result variable. After this we have create table with five table column with name like image, first name, last name, update button and delete button and store table html code in dollar output variable. Then after we have write while loop with condition like dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch object with one argument like dollar result variable, this function will returns the current row of a result set as an object. Under this loop we have write dollar output variable and under this variable we have store HTML code. In HTML code we have first write open and close table row tag and between this tag we have create first table data tag and under this tag we have write image tag with source is equal to upload folder slash dollar row image object. This will display user image and first table data tag. After this we have create second data tag and under this tag we have write dollar row first name object, this will print user first name in second table data tag. After this we have create third table data tag and under this tag we have write dollar row last name object this will print user last name in third table data tag. Then after we have create fourth table data tag and under this tag we want to create update button link. So we have write button tag with attribute type is equal to button, name is equal to update, and it attribute we want create dynamic id. So here we have write dollar row id object, this will print dynamic user id in this tag. In class attribute we have write update and in button text we have write update. This will create update button link. After this we have create last table data tag and under this tag we want to create delete button link. So we have write button tag with attribute type is equal to button, name is equal to delete in the attribute we want create dynamic id. So here we have write dollar row id object, this will print dynamic user id in this tag. In class attribute we have write delete and in button text we have write delete. This will create update button link. So we have file html table user data, now we want to close this table, so we have write dollar output variable is equal to close table tag. So this way we have close table. Now we have save all data in HTML table format in dollar $output variable now we want to return output of this function, so we have write dollar $output variable. This will return all user data in table format. Now we have go to index.php page and on this page we have write query code for load user data on page load, so we have create one function with name like load data. This function will fetch user data. Under this function we have create one action variable is equal to load, this variable we will under ajax method. Now we have define ajax method and under this method we have set first option url set to action.php. Here we have send request to this server side page. In second option we have set method option and this option set to post method. Here we have set post method for send data to server. 
In third option we can define which data we want to send to server, we can define under data option and under this we have right action variable. And lastly we have write success callback function this function will be called if it send request successfully, this function will receive data from server which can be access from this function data argument. Under this function we want to load data under table with a dis equal to user table which we have get from server, so we have write dollar user table which is an it of table with HTML method and under this method we have write data argument. This will load data on table. So our function is ready for fetch user data from server and load on table, but now we want to call this function on page load, so we have directly called this load data function. Now we have go to action.php page and on that page first we want to include crowd class on that page, so we have write include statement with class link crowd.php. This will include all method of CRUD class under this page. Then after we want to create object of this class, so we have write dollar object variable is equal to new CRUD class. By using this object we can access all the method of CRUD class. After creating this object we have automatically make database connection. After this we have write if statement with condition like set function and under this function we have write dollar post action variable. This function will check value of this dollar post action variable is set or not, if it is set then it will execute if block of code. Suppose value is set then it has been execute if block of code and under this block we have write if statement with condition like dollar post action variable value is equal to load this condition will check if dollar post action variable value is equal to load then it will execute if block of code otherwise no action will perform suppose value of dollar post action variable is equal to load then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with dollar object with get data and table function and under this function argument we have write query like select star from users order by id in descending order this get data and table method will execute this query and fetch data from users table and return that data in table format and it will be display on web page so our code is ready so we have save all files and check out what in browser. Friends we page has been load and at the time it has been load users data in table format with update and delete button link. This is the first part of making of CRUD system by using principle of object oriented programming and PHP language with Ajax method. In this part we have load data from MySQL table and display on web page by using Ajax method with PHP object oriented programming. Here first we have make one class and in that class we have first make database connection and put database connection in constructor magic method. So when we have make new object of this class, it will automatically make database connection. Then after we have make one new function for execute query and then after we have make new method for converting query result data into HTML table format. After making this function we have go to HTML page and on that page we have make Ajax method. This method will load data under table on page load. This Ajax method has used different method of class and display data on web page in table format. In next video we'll learn how to insert data by using PHP object objected programming concept with Ajax method. So if you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.